This poem is called Anorexia by Joanna Rosenfeld. Anorexia, you curse of my life, you curse of this woman, of these times. You found me long ago and I recovered. But there is this strange desire to stay the same, to hold on, to be still and straight and unchanging in my body weight. And this is down to you. Without you, what could I have been? What would I have been? What heaven could I have climbed? What mountain built? What laughter had? Anorexia, I hate you. I loved you then and now I hate you. You came quietly, you wore silks and furs and hid your ugly bones. You came with whispers and sighs and hid your ugly thoughts. So why can't I be heavier than 59 kilograms? So why do I still scrutinize pictures of me for evidence of my fat and ugly truth? Why do I still worry about what I'm seeing in the mirror when I know this to be the fake noise of your whispers? There is no truth to be found in this hiding ground. There lies no joy in this numbness. There is no victory in this success to stay small, thin and under 59 kilograms. Anorexia, you are a liar and a cheat, a thief and a murderer too. You killed the joy and pleasure this body was made to experience. You told me that pleasure was wrong, dirty, disgusting. You were stamping on the sensual appreciation of the skin I'm in. You were the denial of my needs for nourishment and care. You were the breaker off of friendships and relationships, the bringer of secrets that undermined love. You are my very private monster and I keep you chained to your kennel and hear your howling in the darkest nights Feel you tugging on your leash to come and rescue me with your control. You don't need to feel this. You don't need to hear this. You don't need to be this. But I do. And I do. And I do. And I battle with the rules and the regulations. I battle with my knowledge around eating, with my nutritionists, my doctors and my friends. Without you, I know what is good for me. Without you, I can be calm and serene at least when it comes to eating. And I don't need to do this anymore. 
I listen to my body and eat well without you barking and tugging on your leash in the dark. The little girl who was scared. The little girl who needed to con control. Well, she's in the driving seat now. She does not need holding back or telling or guidance. She knows what she wants. She knows what she feels. And I can sit there grinning and loving and grinning, tenderly holding her, tenderly giving her the right to feel everything. Even the fury at the state of the world.